And welcome back students. In this video we're going to continue our discussions of Charles Law and we've got a second calculation for you. In this problem we have a gas system that is filled with an initial volume of 13.1 liters and it is found to have a temperature of 155 degrees Celsius. What we want to know is if the volume has changed to 3460 milliliters what would be the final temperature in degrees Celsius of this system? And so let's go ahead and fill this out. But the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and underline all the information that is given to us that is going to help us find this. Okay? And so the first thing that we need to do is identify our volumes. And so we, we read here the initial volume is 13.1 liters. This is your V1. And we also know that the initial temperature is 155 degrees Celsius. This is your T1. And so I'm just going to go put that up there, T1. The other item is we know that we're going to change the volume and we can see that because it tells us it's changed to and this is going to be your V2, your second volume and what they want us to find is the final temperature and that is what we don't know, that is our T2. And so we go ahead and use the equation that we need for this particular problem and we know the original equation to be the following. So V1 divided by T1 equals V2 divided by T2. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use this equation, substitute all the information into it, and then solve the problem. And so we'll go ahead and do that now. Our V1 is 13.1 liters. And this is going to be divided by our T1, which is 155 degrees Celsius, equals to our V2, which is 3460 milliliters, divided by our T2, which is what we're trying to find. Now one thing that you do need to notice right now is if we look at the volume 1 and the volume 2, we have different units. On the one hand, we've got liters right here in this section, and we've got milliliters in this section. What we need to do is kind of decide, do we want our answer to be in milliliters or do we want it to be in liters? Well, probably the easiest thing for us to do here is to convert milliliters to liters, because that really just means we need to move the decimal over three spaces to the left because we're going to divide it by a thousand. So to show you the actual conversion, it's the following way. So we're going to take 3460 milliliters and we're going to convert this to liters and the way we do that is we divide it by 1000 because we know that there is 1000 milliliters in one liter. And what happens here is that the milliliters cancel leaving us the units of liters. And when we do this, we're going to get the following number. And so we're going to have essentially have the decimal move over three spaces so we'll get 3.4 six zero liters and this is going to be the answer that we're going to have to substitute in place of three thousand four hundred sixty and so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now I'm going to erase this three thousand four hundred sixty and I'm going to replace it with that number three point four six zero liters now we know that our liters at least for the units um, our volume is going to be the same unit in liters so now what we get to do is now we get to follow through and do the equation here and solve for t. But notice here on this one hand, we do need to engage a cross multiplication first. So let's go ahead and do that. And so let me erase this stuff here at the bottom to get it out of our way for us. And so we'll do this quickly here. And then what we got to do is we need to go through and essentially do the cross multiplication. So what we're going to do is we're going to take t2 and we're going to multiply that by 13.1 liters. And this is going to be equal times the cross multiplication of these two numbers here. Okay, And so that's going to be 3.46 liters multiplied by 155 degrees Celsius. Now that we're here, we can get T2 by itself by dividing by 13.1. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And so we're going to take 13.1 and divide it here and we're going to take it and divide it on the other side as well 13.1 liters that cancels here and what we're left with is T2 on the left hand side so if we go ahead and do the math for this section up above okay so we're going to take 3.46 liters times 155 and then divided by 1 excuse me by divided by 13 that should give us the answer that we want and so we're going to take 3.46 multiplied by 155 divided by 13.1 and the answer that we're looking for is the following we're looking for 40.93 it could be 40.94 depending on how you did it on your calculator I'm gonna leave it as 40.93 and our units here is going to be degrees Celsius and so this is the way we solve this problem 
Hopefully this was helpful for you. Keep on watching the videos. And as always, if you study hard, you're going to get the answers.